Hey friendos, <coughs> what is up? Welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Matt, we're back with some more Marvel Future Fight and oh boy, this is why you should proofread your tweets. Yes. Uh, I don't have Twitter anymore, but I did see this thanks to uh, the Cynicalix Discord, so big shout out to him. Yes, agents, you prepared for the next epic quest. And then in the corner you can see all new X-Men. And between these two little things, these two mistakes, this bit is true. Earn double X genes. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, whilst the, the all new X Men is uh, is confusing people, and the the mistyping definitely is confusing people to think that there is a brand new epic quest on the way. I think that's wrong. So, um, unfortunately hate to burst everyone's bubble let's jump over into the game and let's have a look and see why so let's jump into the forums there is a lot to be going on at the moment unfortunately this whole update has been full of mistakes and sadly even though they look to be fixing a lot of them I do believe this tweet is just yet another one to add to the list so yeah uh, lots of different sales on at the moment and there is a, a celebration event coming up starting from tomorrow also important to note there is a scheduled um, maintenance now that is nothing to do with this uh, event and it's nothing to do with adding in a epic quest as a Christmas surprise this is just net marbles all of their games this is like as if um, you know Sony or EA or Rockstar or whoever said all of our games are going down for maintenance. It's not just MFF, it's all of uh, Netmarble's games. So Seven Deadly Sins, Grand Cross, Nino Cooney, all of them are all going to be down. So yeah, as from after reset tomorrow, after the maintenance, we will have our usual uh, events. Sadly, the, uh, the reforging and the... Um, CTP unequip event came a little too late for a lot of us content creators who were trying to make <laughs> videos about Jean Grey and Cyclops and the like even though they were all broken beyond belief which is a shame so rip us but um, yeah no no word anywhere of a new epic quest and I do think the reason why is because we already have an epic quest with Cyclops we have the the actual X-Men quest I think it was merely a mistranslation. I think all new X-Men uh, is what over in other countries they're calling what we call the modern look for Cyclops. And yeah, you can see here that we do have a, uh, a little up arrow next to the biometric symbol uh, for Gene, even though it should be an X-Gene symbol, but we won't. It's basically saying two times the bios can drop. And that's all it was. Is, is that you can get twice as many bios for the likes of Cyclops and as you can see I've been making use of it because I didn't have any built up for him and now I have enough in fact I should have more than enough by now actually because I've been doing that yeah I have more than enough so we can finally take him to Mythic which is very nice we have finished him uh, but that's sadly all it was and I do think that with a lot of the tweets that we do see and a lot of the message we do get from CM Fragment whether it's that English isn't their first language or they they were just in a rush or it was someone else who deals with the Twitter side of things. I think someone just copied the message from Korean, uh, which probably went out on MFF Korea uh, Twitter and they just copied and pasted it into Google Translate and it came out. I'm sure any of you guys who, who watch any anime but watch it uh, subbed will have seen like some interesting or amusing uh, details that come across when something is translated wrong or mistranslated and I, I think that this is the case here I don't think that it's a new epic quest um, if it were if I'm wrong then is there a reason to be happy I mean we've just got Polaris she could have been in that epic quest she could have been a main character in it and then we could have seen uh, a, a new story brought in involving her involving havoc involving omega red we could have had the likes of i don't know spinal or toad we could have had all sorts in there however i don't think the game really needs another epic quest at this current moment 
if you look at the game modes, we've been streamlining a lot. There are a lot of tabs that have gone missing over the last like year or two. And even further back, if you think of the you know the OGs who've been playing the game since the days when there was Alliance Raid and Villain Siege and Special Missions. And there's two modes here that I think really need to be either merged, got rid of, deleted. Some people still use Dimension Rifts and I don't think anyone at all uses Timeline Survival. This is where the devs should be focusing their efforts on trying to make this popular. We have six, oh. Oh, it only goes up to threat level five. Why did I think it went up to threat level six? See, it's been so long since I've played it, I don't even know how many levels there are. But no one does play it. And why? Because it is a repeat of the rewards that we're getting from Dimension Rift. Now before, Timeline Survival, when it first came out for the first like month or two, it was kind of good because you got half decent rewards. And I think adding in another epic quest where you don't get anything in terms of rewards, but all you get in is a bunch of fetch quests essentially, uh, isn't really gonna help. Um, I don't even think it's gonna be like these last ones. Uh, where we have a bunch of characters that you can get for free one paid one in this case moonstone but we've seen before with magneto uh for Jean gray i don't think we would get that it will probably if anything be more like the most recent one the eternals one where you had to get two different characters obviously you had to get cersei and uh kingo and you had to get both of them uh up no, they were the free ones. And then you had to get Gilgamesh and Makari in order to unlock Thena. And I think a lot of people would be upset with that. And then basically you just have to come here and spend about 4,000 energy looking for 50. Uh, I don't know. Beast sunglasses. Professor X's wheelchair parts. <laughs> or something stupid like that. And then you'd have to come to timeline battle and do like 50 timeline fights and 30 timeline wins. And as we all know, trying to get 30 timeline wins when you're up against the likes of uh, tier 4 Jean Greys, that's not going to be happening anytime soon. Oh look, they have a mighty greed on theirs. Yeah, probably because she's fixed now and it turns out that greed wasn't that bad after all. But hey, that's another story for another time. So yeah, sadly, whilst there have been plenty of mistakes in this game at the moment, I think adding in an epic quest where we have to do a bunch more fetching stuff is really just going to detract from areas of the game that need to be fixed. Get rid of heroic quest, you know, that could all be merged into one epic quest to be honest. Yeah, sure, you could say pay 2000 crystals, but then have it so that you can then get wave and white fox bios for free once you've unlocked it. If you look at the amount of characters we now have in game, you can see I've got 235 of 253. How many of those do I use? 50? Maybe? If you look at teams of three, five teams of three for, for all the different world bosses, uh, you look at the different characters that you need for world boss legend, a support and a leadership for those. Uh, three or four different PvP teams. Yeah, sure, some people use more characters for Alliance Conquest and some mad lads will even go ahead and do Shadowland every week. God knows why. But then that still leaves about 150 to 200 characters who just don't get used in the game. Adding six new characters in an epic quest? Do we really need that? I don't think so. Not when there's so many characters who need a rework because even if they came out in 2019, by now, or even 2020, by now they're just not good enough. And there's so many characters like Wen Wu or Green Goblin who are good, but didn't get a Transcendence, who didn't get a Tier 3, which is even more baffling now when they need those before they can even progress up to Tier 4. And as we all know, Marvel Future Fight are throttling uh, tier 4 materials so that people have to go oops no <laughs> there's two game modes that we play to get them um, GBR and we have to go into world boss legend to get the carbonadium and the life seed and that's still not enough 
and they know this and they're throttling those materials so that people who are paying for it are having to go into the store to buy it and as you can see from the amount of tier 4 gene greys that are in pvp at the moment i think a lot of people bought either this one so in native tier 2 could get their potential straight away or certainly at least one of these tier 4 advancement packs and yeah I, I agree that Marvel Future Fight has a right to make money. It is a business after all. It's a live service game. They need us players who do spend money in the game in order to keep the servers up and running and pay the staff. But I do think, given the amount of time that Tier 4s have been out and the amount that we're getting each update, we should be looking at changing some existing game modes so that we have new ways of farming those materials. I think that is far more important when you consider the characters we've got in game, those who have got upgrades, those who are going to be getting upgrades in the near future, that is more important than adding in another epic quest, which might seem nice for newer players and uh, you know returning players, but for those who play the game daily, I think it is just a, a, a misdirection, a distraction from what should be happening in game. Yeah, sure, we've got a few MCU projects coming up next year and some characters should be getting tier 3s, tier 4s, etc. But we need like characters who aren't getting anything, who won't be coming back in the future MCU projects. Uh, I know White Tiger's meant to be coming in Daredevil, but what about Phil Coulson? He's not coming back in anything and we need, we really need a male support for high-end World Boss Legend content he could do with getting something like a Transcendence or a Tier 3. So I think we should uh, take all the new Epic Quest stuff with a pinch of salt and we should hope that the devs concentrate on what really matters in-game uh, before more people get pushed further away. Bye for now.